The, the, the circumstances in 2010 are very different from today, but in 2010, I believed, and I, I believed I had the full support of um, uh, the non-executive directors of the BBC, I also believed I had the full support of the BBC Trust, that we had to do something very significant and very rapidly to reduce the numbers and also the aggregate pay of senior managers in the BBC. And indeed, we, we, we launched a programme which ultimately saw, I think, 24%, one in four of the senior managers of the BBC leaving. The, the programme was originally expected to last three years. We accelerated it to about 18 months. The act of accelerating itself yielded an extra nine and a half million pounds of savings. The programme as a whole has saved about 35 million pounds so far and has led to 19 million pounds of savings for every year into the future. So the ultimate value for money argument for this reduction was very strong. Had we not made Mark Byford redundant, by now the BBC would have spent at least another 1.3 million pounds on, on salary for, for, for Mark Byford. And so although I absolutely recognise that it's a very large amount of money, I recognise uh, the impact it's had, actually it, was, it made better value for money sense for the BBC to make the redundancy and save the money than to leave him in post. So do you therefore not agree with what Tony Hall said when he said the BBC had lost the plot on severance? We'd lost the plot, we've lost our way, we got bedeviled by zeros. Do you agree with him? Well, I, I think what, what I want to say is, is that, that we were focused above all, and I don't think it was just me, I think it was, I say, it was the it, BBC Trust as well, first and foremost on whether we could get the complete pay bill down and, and real progress was made on that, Real say so £19 million, uh, with the earlier savings we made much more than that per year of ongoing so savings. So you don't think you'd lost the and plot? And this, well, I, I believe that... Do you think you'd lost the plot? I do not think we, we lost the plot. We took the decision, and it was my judgement, uh, which I put to the executive board and discussed with the BBC Trust, that we wanted Mark Byford, through this difficult transition, fully focused on the enormous task we had we didn't want him worrying about his, his, his future or taking calls from headhunters. We wanted him fully focused, and that is why we decided not to ask him to work through his notice.